Shuo and Williams has finally announced their color of the year. And I'm not talking about their HGTV line, which is cool in its own right. But this is the official Shuo and Williams color of the year selection for 2024. Really, really cool stuff because this is one of the big players in the paint world. One of the biggest paint companies ever. And they have chosen their color of the year moving forward, which is going to enforce design as a whole. It is a little bit different. It's not necessarily what I expected. And I'm very excited to talk about it with you today in this video. So if you watched our previous video about the Sheridan Williams anthology sort of color trends that have been coming out, you'll know that there was four different color palettes that they released that all had very clear and concise names, one of which was blues and greens. And I remember saying in that video, It'd be really cool if it was greens and blues because I do prefer green over blue, typically speaking. But now it makes sense why they went with that particular wording because the color of the year is a blue. And I'm not talking about a cool gray. This one has enough saturation where it feels like a blue to me. It's light and airy. It has a beautiful name that has this wonderful message of progress and prosperity. It's called Upward. Upward is a denim blue. It's a mid-tone color, so it has a 57 LRV, which sounds like it's pretty dark, and it has enough coloration to it where it's noticeable, but at the same time, it does have this airy quality to it, mainly because it does feel like a little bit of a sky blue. Maybe one that is just lightly draped with some cloud cover. I think it's a great color. Very, very different from last year. We are seeing quite a transition from warm to cool. And the reason it could be because so many paint companies went with the warmer route with all the reds and all that, oranges, corals. Maybe we were oversaturated with all those colors. So by bringing it back to something a little more cool, but still light and fun, that could be the way forward. One of the great things about these color of the year announcements is you do see a lot of ideas thrown at you by the company. So there's a lot of great pictures on the Sherwin Williams website. I'm on it right now as you can see and the colors being used on things like kitchen walls or nice paneling kitchen cabinets an island right there and even a dining room or a hallway so there's a lot of different things you can do here whether you use this color in accent form or as a main wall color because it is light enough to be used on walls you just have to make sure you're cool with blue see what i did there not your typical neutral color for sure but I do think blue has this beautiful soothing quality to it. I do think if you decide to go with this color in some of the larger parts of your interior in your home, it'll feel really unique and fresh. But for everyone else that isn't ready to commit to a blue interior or whatnot, you can always dip your toe in it by just painting your bathroom vanity or maybe a bathroom or even your front door, why not? Now there are some pretty interesting colors that they've recommended to pair with this color. Drift of Mist being one, so a classic neutral kind of grayish color that I really, really enjoy. Gale Force, which is a dark navy teal almost. Tricorn Black, which is like your typical Sherwin Williams black, like this kind of color. And then two greens in Honeydew and Palm Leaf, both very different. Honeydew is a little more lighter and fresh. And then Palm Leaf almost has a touch of ochre or gold, kind of like a bronze patina type of color. And then Antiquarian Brown, which is a classic combination. Any browns, beiges, creams, ivories, all go really well with these lighter blues like Upward. So yeah, pretty different from anything else I've seen so far from other paint companies. Really excited to see how it's going to kind of live in the ether, in the zeitgeist of design. And also, of course, I got to give you my right. color pairings for it, which I will do in the next video. So be sure to subscribe if you want to see all my pairings for Upward and my trim colors on Color Quickie. Speaking of which, we got an episode right over here if you want to watch it. A whole color palette for you, as I do.